Hello and welcome to my next video. Um, this video is just a reply for someone, um, for Tina. It says, uh, hello Kong, can you do a vlog on your lawn mowing hustle? Um, I'd like to know what you charge, the gear you take and etc. So I've been lawn mowing for about four years. Um, started my own, um, you know, started my own business. And the reason why I did that was it was my main source of income because I wanted to spend some time with the kids. Um, before I used to start work at 7 o'clock and finish at 5. So I never pick up the kids from school and do all that kind of thing with them. But um, that was my main reason. So what, for whatever reason it is, you've got to think why, why do you want to do it. Because lawn mowing isn't a glamorous job. It's a bit dirty, um, you get tired from pushing the thing around but you know you can start your own hours and finish time and sometimes you want, might want to mow two lawns and sometimes you might not want to mow lawns at all and just have a day off. So that's the reason why I did it, it wasn't because oh yeah lawn mowing is absolutely wonderful, it was just like well it's better than going to a, a factory and doing what the boss tell you. And it was quite a successful business. I had up to 50 customers and I just had to say no to some new customers because it was just getting too much. And it was kind of like going back to a full-time job, which is, you know, something I wasn't too interested in. I was more like, oh, I'd paste a bill, save a little bit of money and, you know, just those things. So it wasn't like, I, want, I wanted to get back to those hours of me just working, working, working. I wanted a little bit of time to drop off the kids, make their lunch boxes, um, um, go to um, school sports with them. So if, for whatever reason, you've got to look into why you want to do it and the amount of money. For the gear, it's quite simple. I started off with a minivan. Um, I didn't start off with a ute, uh, even though I've got a ute now, now that I'm financially stable. Um, but if you're doing it on a budget, you can use a car, like just a tiny car like that with a tow bar with a trailer is a cheap option, or you can have a minivan. Um, you'll need you'll need bags to put your grass clipping in. Um, now and then, some people want weed killer that will save you from using the line trimmer. So sometimes some of my customers, they hate weed killer. They think, oh, it's not eco-friendly and all this kind of rubbish. But for me, I love these weed killers because it just makes you do the job a whole lot faster. Um, I used to have a blower, but my blower broke. So I just use a broom now to clean up. Um, petrol can and then the lawnmower. This is just a cheap $200 lawnmower from the warehouse. And it's been going for over a year now, so you don't need anything fancy, just something that will do the job. Personal protection, um, glasses, gloves, and earmuffs, and boots, that's all I use. If you're doing lawn mowing or any gardening work, invest on these. Um, learn how to use it properly, because this will be your extra income. You can go to another property and go, oh that bush, it looks a bit dead, do you want me to remove it? Chop it off with a chainsaw, take the roots out and then charge them extra. That's what I've been doing to um, provide a little bit of more cash. Um, another good one was, um, was there was a tree right next to the house and some idiot planted that tree right next to the house and underneath the house there was cables and um, plumbing and I told the, the homeowner I said you know how big these trees grow, grow up to be? These trees will grow up to be three meters tall and you've got live cables underneath there um, do you, it's probably best for me to remove it so that's a bit of extra income you know um, or if there's a little branch or a branch that's hanging over a cable like let's just say a phone cable or a, or a um, power cable um, normally you get the um, council to do that but some, some jobs are really easy 
sometimes it doesn't have to be hanging over it could be like oh it's just when it starts growing bigger it's going to hang over to it you know so you can offer them to cut that branch off and um, charge them a bit of money for it and when you use a chainsaw it is a dangerous machine so you can charge a little bit extra and when they um, ask oh why are you charging me this, this much you give them the chainsaw and say here you do it because um, you know it's a chainsaw it's something that can cut your fingers off and have serious accidents so you can charge a little bit more lawn mowing now is not my main job my main job is um, being a background extra I just make myself free so that I can travel to be on set so that's why I don't fill myself with a lot of customers anymore. How much do you charge your customer? For me, oh, first of all, when you start your own business, um, this is something I've kind of discovered, is just mind your own business, you know. Don't worry about what other people do or what other people charge and try not to compare you with another person. Um, because... Your situation is different to their situation. For example, if you look at Jim lawn mowing. Wow, 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 look at that. It's my enemy, Jim's mowing. Every franchise, once they work, they've got to pay 15% to the franchise. They've got to pay um, insurance. They've got to pay X amount of dollars to this and that. And so for one lawn, they might be charging $70. Um, for me, I'm charging around about $40, and $40 it normally takes me one hour of work, and um, about $5 goes to things like um, the dump, dumping of the, the grass clipping, and one or two dollars just for petrol and maintenance. So in the end, I'm getting around about, you know, $30 cash in hand and that's just that's just me and my situation for other people they might have to charge more because they might have to charge uh, because they're paying taxes they're paying um, um, insurance and all this kind of thing so yeah don't worry too much about oh this person's charging 80 so I've got to charge 80 you know um, how I see it is what is the richest country in the world it's got to be China and why are they the richest country in the world? Because they produce cheap stuff. And people want cheap stuff. And cheap stuff and a lot of stuff. So yeah. Um, so if I make my prices affordable, people want that. And they'll hire me more than they want someone like Jim Lawnmower. So I have more customers. As long as I can manage my time and just bang out the job quite easily and it doesn't worry me out then I'll obviously get more customers which means more money so yeah we, I try to get it in the same area so there's no point driving from one side of town and then driving to another side of town to mow lawns um, it's best to just drive one side of town um, do a couple of lawns there and then just have a day off and then the next day drive to the other side of town do a couple of lawns there and that's how I manage the um, petrol. The petrol prices is way too high. We're getting ripped off at the pump here. For this stage, tax isn't really an issue. Um, you just, every, everything costs in life, you know. You run your vehicle, equipment breaks, so you can always treat it like a loss every time you, you do something like this. Like, you know, there's always going to be one of fitness, um, car repairs, um, machine's going to break, you're going to need to buy petrol and you can take that all towards your your cost of the business and at the end you know it makes it look like oh, you're not actually making any profit and you don't need to pay tax. Um, a, an advice, a personal advice that someone gave me was don't worry about it, <laughs> you're not making loads and loads of money. You're just making a few dollars here and there and your main um, your main source of income is somewhere else nobody's going to track you down with taxes and that was coming from an IRD worker so yeah I don't worry about too much about taxes like that 
Um, so like I said, it's just a side hustle. Um, it's not my main source of income where the tax man's going to come and get you. Um, but if you are using it for your um, main source of income, yeah, I guess yeah, you've got to do the whole tax system and all that kind of thing. And um, But like I said, try to cheat it as much as you can. Um, put Keep all your receipts, you know. Try to make it look like you're not making any profit. But yeah. Um, and also do some cash jobs, you know. I've, most of them are cash jobs for me. Winter time, I normally mow every six weeks. Um, spring, autumn, four weeks, and summer, it's two weeks. And some customers are also on call, so they call me up whenever they want their lawns mow. That's a nice mandarin tree. Let's see if I can get some. I should have tied that bag up before driving. Oops. Extra income is just weed maintenance, spraying weed killer on these, that's a, also another extra income. I'm just covering this up so I don't give out any details on my customers. Anyway, so for the invoices, I normally print something out like that. And then I do the work first, and then they pay me later. All my customers are good. Um, they're trustworthy, so I can do that. But if I've got a new customer, I get them to pay first, and then I do the work later. It's just so that I don't get ripped off. If you can, try to get good customers. Customers that always pay on time, look after their property, and also, you know, don't leave shit lying around like... Um, alcohol bottles or toys and stuff like that it just makes your life a lot easier okay just came back home from mowing two lawns because it's winter time there's not much lawns to mow it's more like um, just maintenance really the cost of dumping green waste is roughly about $25 per ute load so um, what I normally do is I, once I finish mowing, I never dump it straight away. I leave it in a bag like that, and for about two weeks or so, that will be half that size. It will just shrink down, and then you can put some more into the bag so that you, you're dumping more than, you know, you're, you're getting your money's worth. So try to reduce the um, dumping fee is a key thing because you rather have money in your pocket rather than, than giving it to somebody else. When coming up with an idea or a name for your service always have a good good thing that pops up in people's brain. For me I've got a, a Red Ninja funny that just as I was talking to you guys, someone said, Lawns, anytime, Manny. Then I'll reply, Yep, this is one of my on call, um, on call lawns. So they just text me when they want their lawns done. Anyway, so have fun with it. Make it pop. I mean, I've got people taking photos of my um, logo just for fun because it's so funny. Getting customers are easy. Um, you need a sign on your vehicle or your trailer. Most time you'll see people driving by and then they'll stop and ask for your details. And also maybe a t-shirt or something to say that you do lawn mowing. Social media and always carry a business card. 
when you're on the job, do a good job, you know, um, make it all nice and neat um, so that they are, customers are always happy with your service. And um, as long as they're happy, they would even pay you more, in fact, if you give a really good service. So, yeah, that's a bonus. So, yeah, that's, that's how I run my business. Um, might be different to some people. Um, but that's how I do it and it's worked for me. It's not a job that I'm going to do forever. Um, I do normally quit my jobs, you know. I, I go from um, being a cabinet maker to a welder to a pizza delivery to a actor to, <laughs> to, um, to lawn mowing. Yeah, so um, I do have another job maybe coming up in the next six months or so. So this is probably my last year doing lawn mowing and also doing filming. And I'll be on to my next job. So yeah, hopefully this channel's still around when, when that happens and um, I'll get you guys updated. So thanks Tina for your comments and I'll see you on my next video.